Hi, this is Game Jammin, and I'm your host Jamin here, and we are going to play some Hearthstone Constructed. Specifically, we are playing an Oil Road deck. I'm trying to get in as many games tonight as I can before the uh, reset of the rank. Um, I kind of went all in on Oil Rogue in the sense that uh, I, did, I haven't put very much money in this game. I, I bought one... I think I put money in for one set of expansions. Uh, but other than that, everything I've gotten is just over time. Uh, and essentially the missing cards from the deck that I really needed were... Did I forget to add it in? I think I forgot to add it in. Oh well, I, I basically made a Blood, Blood Mage Thalnos. And let's see, who am I playing against? Playing against the priest. Actually, the teacher is good, so I'll keep it. Um, I basically got rid of a whole bunch of my warrior cards and some other classes that I don't use as much anymore. And I oh, went God. in to get the Blood Mage Thalnos and made my first uh, epic. Legendary. Legendary. Uh, so that basically bankrupted my my cards, but that's okay. That's part of the... Um, I, I want to get better at Oil Rogue, and we're either going to get better or worse at it. So uh, wish me luck on this run. Let's uh, get some damage in. I will try to explain what I'm doing as I play. Uh, as best I can, uh, you're probably going to catch mistakes, and that's fine. Point them out. Uh, just note that Oil Rogue, if you've never played Oil Rogue before, Rogue before you're trying to learn, I'm not the best person to learn from, uh, and it plays very differently than how the other classes play. Uh, the reason being is that um, you don't always, you're not always pushing the advantage. Here we go. So, oh yeah, this. I'm kind of stalling for time. No, oh, this is weird. I'm playing against the mech priest. I haven't seen that one before. But we'll see how this goes. Um, generally, I want to get the Violet Teacher out now. Uh, but I want to be able to do it when I can actually take advantage of our effect. And since I can't really do that right now, I'm just going to stall for time and put out a pilot shredder. Aha! That is a very good sap target. Okay. So the question is, how do I handle this? So, I'm definitely going to sap this guy. Thinking I want to get rid of the micro machine just so it doesn't get too much bigger. So many, options. and I'll still have some life left on this guy. Um, and that'll give me a chance to do two damage. Oh, well then I'm able to do the two damage here, and then I attack this. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna sap this, get rid of that buff. Allows me to go attack and get rid of this, and I can deal the two damage on this. This guy's toast. And I'm saving this because there's no reason to use it yet. That'll give me a chance next turn to bust out the Violet Teacher and maybe an Eviscerate or the Deadly Poison. Options. Options. Okay. If we attack... Okay, so here's the thought process. I wanted to take advantage of Violet Teacher's effect. 
but I need to be able to clear this out. So I put the Violet Teacher out, deal one damage to the to the character with uh, my hero. Pay attention, that'll class. get rid of the Divine Shield. Then I can eviscerate. I'm ready to. Learn. Hey. And we can clean these guys up. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> that worked out good for me. And then next turn, I can go for the Deadly Poison. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful. I'm running low on health. But I'm also in a very good position too, because this is going to be super beneficial to me. Totally on accident, but I don't care. So let's do... We're going to... So many options. Backstab. I'm ready to... Here we Attack. go. Oh, I should play off the other Violet Teacher first. I made a major boo boo. All right, that's I fine. Shall do as you say. Instruction begins. <laughs> Pay attention, class. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to strike. And I'm going to do that just to gain extra armor. So now I'm in a really strong position, and although I only have two cards the same as my opponent, mine includes a sprint. Is someone injured? Well, he's going to have to try to draw cards healing up nothing. You have bested. Yep, he knows he's been bested. Unfortunately for him. Nice! Alright! Let's keep it going! Oh, and I need to update my stats. I believe that is a 1 0. Valera versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be Playing into Warlock! Watch. Uh, I actually really liked having this combo set up, the backstab into the SI7 agent. So I'm going to get rid of Eviscerate, and we'll see if I can get the rest of the uh, the combos. Preparation. Preparation is a very much a key to this deck. So whenever you see preparation, you want to keep it in your hand. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. There, I don't know. There's, a, there's an exception to the rule. I'm sure there's an exception to the rule. I just don't know what it is. <clears throat> Off the top of my head. Okay, so this... Normally I would attack straight into it, but I'm going to hold up in case I need to use a backstab to kill it. Um, I need to see what my opponent's going to do. The extra one damage isn't really worth it anyways. I mean, if if I have nothing else to do, sure. But if I have got a plan for it, it's, it's a good idea to wait. Oh, and I was supposed to fix my deck. Oi, 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 oi. Put this apple on your head. Oi, oi. Okay, let's see. See, this is much more important to get rid of, so I might as well go for that. So let's do backstab. Here we Attack. Go. Oh, the combos! Don't cry, it's okay. Sorry, head. Oh, his old status. Well, I just missed that. Oh well. I, I was trying to make a deck uh, that Mr. Yagut made, and so I, I, 
I put it together, but I, I made a mistake and crafted a card I didn't need. Oh, well, it's okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Violet Teacher is probably a good choice. Um, I think I'm going to push for damage to the face. So let's go hey, damage to the face. Hey, lights out. And we'll hang on to this for now. Let's see what he does. Show me your moves. He's drawn. Okay. Okay. Slowing down a little bit, which is helpful for me right now while I'm in an advantageous, advantageous position. Whatever. Uh, I get to have the sludge belcher out, so I can just keep racking on the damage. Uh, and there's no point in even attacking just yet. Now he has to figure out how to attack into me, where I can sit around and just keep pouring on damage. There's going to be a balance, but this is also isn't hand lock, which is a little bit different. This looks like a like a standard warlock, uh, like the deck I was showing earlier in constructed. So uh, I'm not expecting. What's that card? Put this apple on your head. That one lava monster that basically, de depending on how much damage they take, uh, lowers the cost. That's the one you normally have to worry about, but because it's um, because it's a standard warlock, I don't expect them to run that card. Until they prove me wrong, and then we'll see. Constructed is a little bit different. Um, a little bit interesting, because half of the battle is trying to figure out what deck your opponent is playing. Because if they have a change up in there, I, you know, I'm not going to know about it until it hits me. Okay. Oh no. Not that big a deal. Okay. So now I need to figure out what the plan of attack is. Um. So here's what I'm thinking. I think I want to get the Blade Flurry out. I so wonder. I'm going to put out the Azure Drake, get the extra damage bonus in. Oh, but that's so good, though. Uh, actually, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to put out the Violet Teacher and see if I can do it with just the Violet Teacher. Pay attention, class. I'm ready to learn. I am ready to Okay, then let's go attack hey, here. Lights out. And we attack here. And attack there. Nice clean board. Uh, the other way to handle that was to do the Azure Drake. I did do that out of order. I should have cleaned off the knife juggler first. Um, but oh well. Whoops. Haha, <laughs> he missed! This is really good chance for me right now with the two Violet Teachers out and magic in my hand. Really good chance. <laughs> yes, that pretty much sums it up. When I have the Violet Teachers out, it's really hard for them to take back the board control without, um... They don't run anything that takes back the board control. They kind of need to keep the board control. Up to rank 16. Let's keep it going, shall we? This is good. This is good. This is good. I still have not fixed up my deck. Valera versus but it's kind of working, so I'll just leave it alone for now. Um, against a paladin. So notice here, uh, normally I would try to go for minions. However, when I'm playing against somebody with a lot of minions, it actually can make sense to keep a lot of spells. So I'm just going to keep the spells. Lots and lots and lots of magic. Well met. 
Greetings. Uh, this is almost almost too many spells, but uh, we'll see how this goes. As long as the speed is kind of slow, it's actually okay for me. So. Cool, got rid of Noble Sacrifice. I'll take it. Kind of trap is it today? Um, question is, do I clear out this knowing I'm going to boost that up with an Avenge? Or do I just go for face right now? So many. Let's go for face right now. Man, this is such a nice little setup here. Um, the reason why this is so good is that I can just bust out the Azure Drake, which will boost the attack of my weapon enough that it will just clean the board. Um, so many options. I have a feeling it's Avenge, so I kind of want to pop it off. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. Hopefully, it's over here. Thank you. That's okay. I can backstab this. And then, well what was I going to do? Preparation. Blade blurry. Okay. Well played. That was kind of excessive, but I've also got the sprint in my hand. So I don't. Ooh, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. Well played. He likes spamming well played. So that's fine. I can bust out my weapon again. Deal to damage here. Oh wait, actually even. Attack here. That didn't do anything. Whatever. Get rid of it. Thank you. Aha. Reporting for duty. So now Oh, that's kind of cool. I am going to hold off one turn. Here we go. I'm gonna let him try to press the advantage. We're gonna see if he can we can call his bluff. Competitive spirit, okay. Manageable, I think. Thank you. I am sorry. Ah, he is gonna catch me. Low feb. Low feb. I am sorry. Hmm. How do I handle this? I clearly need to use the blade flurry. I wonder. The question is if it does enough. Nope, well, I have to try it, right? Here we go.
I don't think it did enough. Well but played. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Reporting for duty. So now, what can I do from here? I can't do very much. I'm gonna concede! I give up. So, you guys can probably see the misplay that I did. I should have put out more minions to give myself a chance. Actually, I should have tried clearing that turn, and I didn't. I got greedy. I got greedy, guys. <clears throat> I believe I keep forgetting to update this. That puts me at 2-1, right? Let's keep Valera it going! Uh-oh! Your... Is it the mirror matchup? I the dreaded mirror do. matchup. <laughs> Keeping the preparation, uh, but I'm going for some low-cost minions if I can get them. The question is whether I'm playing a mill rogue or just a standard oil rogue like me. Here we go. Technically giving away myself away a little bit. If I attack with the, the knife, it pretty much spells out that I do not have a um a three drop here we which go. surprisingly i don't not that surprising i really don't know the, the strategy for i don't i haven't played enough in your matchups so i don't know what the strategy is to win this uh but now yeah, see what it can do right Now I'm tempted to put this out and just get the free kill. Maybe that's what I'll do. Let's see. I also just crafted this card, so I'm kind of eager to try it. Um... Here we go. Oh well, I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here, but that's all right. At least I'll get to draw a card. Really? So I think it is time for the preparation sprint. Oh, actually it makes sense to put out the fan of knives, huh? Here we go. That was an error. My bad. <laughs> fan of knives actually made a ton of sense there. And next turn uh, is hopefully the Azure Drake. Azure? Azure? I click on you guys, die! Okay. Didn't really have much of a play there, that's fine. Bust out that. And we hold up. Let's see what happens. What does my opponent do? Is the question of the day. I've got double sprint, so I should not run out of cards. And as far as I can tell, this isn't a, what do you call it? This isn't a mill rogue yet. So let's go heelsies. My eyes are open. 
adds a damage. I could mill a card, but I don't really see much of a point of it here. So I'm gonna wait. Fortunately, the mirror matchup's a little bit of a chess match, if you will. You're kind of waiting to see what your opponent has and to figure out what's the correct way to respond that'll deal damage. The other thing, too, is a Faceless Manipulator was totally, purely random choice on my part to fill in the Dr. Boom slot I saw on another deck list. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't a really great choice. But I gave it a try anyways. We'll see how it goes. I was kind of hoping if I hit anything really strong in another deck, not in this matchup, in another matchup, that I'll be able to copy it and then sap the other guy so that I now have the, the powerful minion on the board. But, I don't know. Looks like my opponent doesn't really have minions, so that works out in my favor. Uh, it might even make sense to do fa Faceless Manipulator on this. But I also don't have the um, the other cards I need, so I'm kind of stalling too. What I really need is an oil right now. Crossing my fingers that I can get an oil. Going for the sprint, okay. I may be going for a sprint too. The good part is I don't need to do preparation anymore. Really? Assassinate. What? Okay, that works for me. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just, I just at this point, I might as well just throw a preparation in there for for clearing out cards. I'm almost tempted to throw out the low Um, actually, let's do that. We're gonna see how that goes. I'm crossing my fingers that I can draw into an oil. Okay, so let's do this. We are gonna press the advantage as much as possible. This guy's toast. Damage, attack, and the blade flurry. I kind of should be worried about him boosting this guy up, so I'm going to clear this up. Now, he can do the same thing right back to me. Um... He's gonna have to respond with something, but the good part is I got these eviscerates sitting here Pay attention class I'm ready to learn Yep, now he does a blade flurry Surprise to learn. That's fine though. I've got the um, Fan on eyes right here Oh, and the stealth, this is the patient assassin. That's funny. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is copy this, because I'm not expecting to find a better menu to copy. Goodbye. Do that. Oh no, there goes. Oh, that's too bad. Bring out the weapon, and fan on ice. I'm ready to live. Perfect! Okay. We're looking good now, and hopefully, we'll see. I'm not sure if I can clean the board just yet. Ah, this guy's toast. Hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not playing the board just yet. But that's fine though. Not a big deal. Bust out some weapon attack. Oh, do I have enough damage? Okay, let's count this real quick. I've got one, one, okay, so that's gonna put it at three, hmm. six, nine, 18. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, attack face. Oh, I don't have room for the blade flurry. I didn't count, guys. Fatal mistake. I have to hope that my opponent doesn't have it. Because if they do, I'm toast. And I forgot to get rid of a card. My eyes are open. Oh! That kind of stinks. Yep, they kind of know they're toast now. Good game. Sorry. Not that sorry, but kind of sorry. All right. These things. Okay. We're going to keep this going. Uh, I, I will be back in just a little bit. So hang in tight. We are going to keep going until the season is over.